Hi to all, welcome, welcome to my second class understanding quadrilaterals, chapter 3rd, class 8. Today I am going to discuss angle sum property. Let me take a quadrilateral. Consider its four angles. Let the angles be angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4. What is the sum of the all four angles? Let me take this angle 1 here and angle 2 and angle 3 and angle 4. Now you can see you are getting a circle. So some of these four angles you can say it is 360 degree measure of a complete circle is 360 degree so we can write some of the measures of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree you can find out the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a quadrilateral in another way you know the sum of the measures of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now, let me draw a diagonal here. Now you get two triangles here. Some of the measures of this green triangle is, some of the measures of the angles of the green triangle is 180 degree as well as yellow also 180 degree. Therefore, the sum of Four angles of this quadrilateral means 180 degree plus 180 degree or you can write 2 into 180 degree which is equal to 360 degree. Now let me take a pentagon. What is the sum of the measures of the interior angles of this pentagon? Let us find out in, in the same way what we did in a quadrilateral. Let me draw its diagonals. One, two. So this pentagon we can divide it into three triangles. So some of the measures of the angles of this pentagon we can write it as three into one eighty, which is equal to five forty degree. Now let me take a hexagon. Let me divide into triangles by drawing its diagonals here you will get four triangles so some of the measures of the angles of this hexagon we can write it as 4 into 180 degree which is equal to 720 degree now let us summarize it for quadrilateral it is 2 into 180 degree that is 360 degree. Here, for a pentagon, it is 3 into 180 degree, that is 540. And for a hexagon, 4 into 180 degree is equal to 720 degree. Now, look at this table. For quadrilateral, number of sides is 4, but the angle sum we found it as 2 into 180 degree. Similarly, if number of sides is 4, it is 2 into 180 degree. For pentagon, number of side is 5, it is 3 into 180 degree. Hexagon, number of side is 6, it is 4 into 180 degree. Can you find out any relation between the number of sides and the number multiplied to 180 degree? Yes. Here 2 means 4 minus 2. 3 means 5 minus 2. 4, here 4 means 6 minus 2. That means you are subtracting 2 from the number of sides and multiplying 180 degree. Then for a decagon, can you say, how will you find out the sum of the angles? For a decagon, number of sides is 10. So, it will be 10 minus 2 into 180 degree. That is, which is equal to 8 into 180 degree. If it is so, if number of sides is n, how will you find out the sum of the angles? 
yes it is n minus 2 into 180 degree here is a question for you what can you say about the angle sum of convex polygon with number of sides 7 8 10 and n do find yourself here is your answers do verify yourself here is a hexagon that means six sides are there now what is the speciality of this here all sides are equal if all sides are equal you can call that type of hexagon is regular hexagon now let us find out the interior angles of this hexagon here you can find all all angles are equal to 120 degree here also 120 degree here also 120 degree that means for a regular polygon not only the sides angles are also equal even if you increase its sides angle does not have any change here you have a pair of angles do you remember what this pair is called yes it is called linear pair of angles if one of its angle is 40 degree can you say what is the other angle yes it is 180 minus 40 and which is equal to 140 degree so for a linear pair sum of the angles is equal to 180 degree by using this result we can do some problems here is your question number 5 what is a regular polygon a polygon with the sides are equal we can call it as regular polygon state the name of regular polygon of three sides yes it is three sides are equal that triangle is called equilateral triangle if four sides are equal in a quadrilateral yes it is a square of six sides you can say a regular hexagon look at question number six here three angles are given you have to find out values of x the sum of the four angles is equal to 360 degree so 50 plus 130 plus 120 plus x is equal to 360 degree from this you find out the values of x here the b 90 degree is given so this angle is equal to 90 degree so find out the value of x in this case exterior angle is given so you have to find out the interior angle this is if this angle is equal to 60 the other angle you can write it as 180 minus 60 that is 120 degree similarly this angle also you can find out 180 minus 70 degree then you find out the values of x that is x plus 30 plus x plus this is 180 minus 60 this is 180 minus 70 now here is a pentagon of equal size if one angle is a equal to x you can find that all other angles are also equal to x and sum of the angles in the pendant is equal to 3 into 180 degree so you can find out the values of x here is question number 7 if angle is interior angle is 30 degree z you can find out as 180 minus 30 similarly x also you can find out now one angle is equal to 30 this angle is equal to 90 degree so this angle you can find it out as 180 minus 90 plus 30. If you get this angle, you can find out the values of y. Then you find out x plus y plus z. Similarly, here you have to find out first x you can find out, then 180 minus 80 y you can find out, 180 minus 60 z you can find out. Now interior angle z 120 plus 80 plus 60 is the triangle. So you can find out the angle nearby W as 360 minus sum of these three angles. If you know this angle, you can find out the W. Then you find out S plus Y plus Z plus W. 
thing you can do yourself. Here is your answers. Do verify yourself. That is all for today's class. Have a nice day.